Lutron dimmers can be easily installed in under 15 minutes and require only a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a piece of electrical tape. First, turn the power off at the breaker. Double check to make sure the power is off. If you're installing this dimmer with other devices, break off the fins on the sides where there's an adjacent dimmer. If you have two or more switches controlling your light, this video will show you how to install a Maestro dimmer in one location, Maestro companion dimmers, and how to update an existing switch. First, remove your existing switch. If you have two switches controlling this light, you should have three wires plus a ground connected to your old switch. Take a piece of electrical tape and tag the wire connected to the different colored screw of the existing switch. This is typically a black wire. Then remove your existing switch. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the dimmer. Connect the tagged wire to the black screw on your Maestro dimmer. Then connect the remaining two wires each to the brass and blue screws on the dimmer. Make a note of the color wire you connect to the blue screw in this location. We'll need to identify this wire in the second location. In this example, we're choosing the red wire to connect to the blue screw. Mount the control and move to the second location. You have an option of installing a Maestro companion dimmer or adding a jumper wire to an existing three-way switch. If more than two switches control the light, you must use a Maestro companion dimmer in the remaining locations. To install a companion dimmer, take a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire before removing the old switch. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then disconnect the switch. Connect the ground wire typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the dimmer. Attach the tagged wire to the black screw on the companion. Identify the same color wire you attached to the blue screw in the first location and connect it to the blue screw on the companion. Connect the remaining wire to the brass screw and mount the dimmer back into the wall. If you have a four-way location, you should have four wires coming out from the wall plus a ground, remove the old switch and identify the two wires that are the same color of the wires you attached to the blue screw in the other locations. Connect the ground wire, typically a bare copper wire, to the green wire on the dimmer. Attach the two wires that are the same color of the wires you attached to the blue screw in the other locations. Attach the remaining two wires each to the black and brass screw. It will not matter which wire attaches to black and which one attaches to brass. If you're using an existing switch in the other location instead of a companion, you'll need to add a jumper wire to the existing switch. Start by taking a piece of electrical tape and tag the common wire before removing the old switch. As a reminder, this is the wire connected to the different colored screw. Then remove only the tagged wire from the switch. Identify the wire that is the same color as what we attach to the blue screw in the dimmer location. Leave this wire connected and remove the remaining wire from the switch. Connect the two removed wires together with the yellow jumper wire. Connect the other end of the yellow jumper wire to the black screw on the existing switch. Mount the control, install your wall plate, and turn the power back on at the breaker. The last step is to go back to the Maestro dimmer and adjust the settings to work with an existing switch. Press and hold the tap switch and the raise rocker until the LEDs on the dimmer begin to blink. Tap the lower rocker to move the blinking LED to the bottom and press the tap switch to save the setting. Check that the dimmer and the switch turn the lights on and off. Now that your dimmer is installed, you can adjust the low end of the dimming range to improve your LED's performance. Press and hold the tap switch and the lower rocker for about six seconds until the LED's flash, then release. 
Use the raise and lower rockers to adjust the light as low as it will go without flickering or turning off. Once you've set the desired low end level, press the tap switch to save the setting. Turn the lights off and then on again. If all the bulbs don't turn on or are flickering, repeat the previous steps and that's it.